What's up guys, it's Juwana here, founder and CEO of Subwell, and every week it seems like we're seeing a new plated shoe or some madness. Brands are dropping new shoes that are $200, $180, $275, and running shoe prices are getting a bit out of control. I wanted to bring us all back to center a little bit and round up what are those bargain deals, those best running shoe options out there that we can find for under $120. You know, not all of us want to pay 200 bucks just for an everyday running shoe. So for those of us that are more budget conscious, here are the best affordable running shoes. Let's get into it. All right, first up, we got the Saucony Axon 3. This is a versatile daily trainer from Saucony that slots in at the bottom of their performance running range, and it undercuts a lot of similar feeling shoes on the market by 30 to $50 quite frankly. And so what this package is delivering, it's using that same power run foam that we find in shoes like the Shift, Convara, and Ride with a very simple upper. So the result is a firmer but still responsive shoe that can handle all the very demands of structured training. It has a padded upper so it's comfortable for everyday runs and that power run foam can be pushed for faster efforts as well. Next up, we got the Atreyu base model, which comes in at $85. So if you want a complete no frills shoe and you're not gonna be running tons of miles, then the Atreyu base model is a great example of that. It doesn't have the most cushioning. What it does have is a really lightweight construction and a nice responsive, super critical EVA midsole, which is pretty similar to what we see in the Hoka Mach 5 and that Pro Fly Plus top layer. So I think this punches above its weight at that $85 $5 price point. The one thing to note is it doesn't have a rubber outsole, so you may not get the most longevity out of this. But if you're not going to be running five miles in this every day, then you should have no problem extending the life of it. Next up, we got the Saucony Convara 14 coming in at $120, so right up at the upper barrier of this list. But Saucony's always tried to keep the Convara as their accessible, affordable, no frills option in the lineup. So this has a bit of a lower stack than the Axon, which led off this list. It's also gonna have a lighter weight and just a snappier feel. This is really positioned as that fast shoe, that non-plated up-tempo option. So if you're looking for something that you can pick up the pace in that you can run some faster miles in during training then the Convara 14 is a great budget option. Next up, we have the Adidas Audi Zero SL, which MSRP for this one is $120, but you can find it discounted for half of that. I picked up a pair last month for $60, so this is a great buy. It's gonna be the most versatile shoe on this list at that price point, and at $60, it's a complete no-brainer. It is on the firmer side with that Light Strike EVA midsole with a puck of super critical TPE Light Strike Pro up in the forefoot, but you don't get a whole lot of change in the ride from that Light Strike Pro. It is gonna feel like a bit of a firmer ride that you do need to put some force in to get feedback from on those faster days. But at slower efforts, it's really comfortable. It has a padded upper and it's gonna keep your feet and legs protected during high mileage training. All right, next up, we got the Brooks Divide 3. This is gonna be one of the best budget trail options. It comes in at 100 bucks. It has a really comfortable upper. It's pretty stable, like all of Brooks' shoes, and it has nice lugs on the outsole, which will keep you grounded if you're going over any muddy, rooty, or rocky terrain. All right, next up, we got another from Atreyu, and this is gonna be the best budget super shoe. It's called the Artist, and it has a carbon fiber plate inside of that super critical EVA foam. While it might not feel as fast and snappy as something like the Vaporfly, it is gonna be that same formula with the plate and the soft foam. I think this is actually a great option if you wanna conserve your Vaporfly or your Endorphin Pro 3 strictly for those race days, and then get that cheaper Artist to slot in as your training shoe. This is gonna be great for those faster pace efforts, those track days, those tempo days on Thursdays. So if you want a plated shoe that can lift some of the burden from your super shoe, go ahead and pick up the artist. It's a hundred bucks, great buy at that price. All right, last up, we got one from last year. It's the Saucony Triumph 20. They've cut the price on this to 120 bucks. This is the best max cushion shoe. One of the best max cushion shoes out there actually, but 
at 120 bucks. Definitely the best affordable max cushion shoe. It has a thick stack of sock and use power on plus foam, which is a beaded TPU compound, similar to Adidas Boost. It's gonna be super comfortable, responsive, great for recovery runs and also for all the demands of everyday running. It's not gonna be the best for faster paced stuff, but if you want something to slow it down, take it easy in, then the Triumph 20 is a great buy. All right guys, there we have it. Those are the best budget running shoes for under $120. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these, what you think of them. As always, thank you for following and liking. I'll make sure to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest in the world of performance running.